Hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road and the 2019 Love Your Home Challenge. Someone commented that I was brave to start in the kitchen. This morning I'm feeling a little more stupid and a little less brave, but here we go. Let me show you the kitchen. First thing to do, let's focus on this amazing coffee station that Kenny made me. Now, I guess we need to focus on the clutter in the cabinets. That's where I'm gonna start today. I'm not up for tackling the pantry yet. I think I might need wine and not coffee for the pantry. Okay, let's go. Does everybody else end up with a ton of medicine in your kitchen? Oh yeah, those taste as bad as I remember. Oh. All right, this cabinet is looking pretty good. Since I made some space in there, I'm gonna go over here and start on this baking cabinet because I think I can move some cookie cutters over to there. Well, this has been going better than I expected. Just tackled the silverware drawer and that was easy peasy. Then I opened the kitchen gadget drawers. That's right, two of them. How many whisks does one person need? Five? Apparently five is the right number. Um, you can definitely tell I am a baker and not a cook. I'm keeping four of them. I mean, they have different purposes. All right, it is evening of day one in the kitchen and um, I've gotten a good amount done. I was hoping to be a little farther, but I had to take a detour to Robbie's room. I, I don't know, like he might get lost in all the stuff that's in there if we don't work on it a little bit. So I'm gonna try to finish one more cabinet tonight and then get back at it tomorrow. Let's see what's in this cabinet. This one should be good. All right, let's see here neoprene bottle holder definitely goes in the keep pile canning funnel definitely in the keep pile keep pile it's a funny story i put all my you know fake eggs back in there you know to teach the new hens where to lay this is not a fake egg i'm gonna need to dispose of this far into the woods tomorrow soccer cone this goes in the kitchen right yeah definitely one lunchbox Baking pan, two lunch boxes, three lunch boxes, <coughs> ah, a thermos, part of a Lego thing, the water bottle, probiotics. This definitely goes in the trash. These are the P tests that we got all the false positives with. Put that in the trash right now. Cell phone charger, water pH testing for hydroponic growing, some Twizzlers that are about as hard as a brick. How's it going? It's good. I'm almost done with this cabinet. Fair bloat, microfiber rag, bottle top, canning lids, china for a baby, dewormer, cake knife from my parents' wedding. All right, well, I don't know how to comedically top dewormer followed by cake knife from my parents' wedding, so let's call it a night. I will see you in the morning. Okay, I've gotten a little stalled in the kitchen because I have only the really hard stuff left. But I just had a genius idea. I've already cleaned out the pots and pans because Kenny got me some nice pots for Christmas, but I think I'm gonna shuffle where they are and use a cabinet with drawers for some of my bigger appliances like the Instapod and the Crock-Pot, stuff that's bulky but not heavy. Let's see how that works. Okay, let's have a laugh at what I've found in with the small kitchen appliances. Ready? Expired coupons. Bicycle owner's manuals. More expired coupons. Sudafed. Old insurance cards. Chicken probiotics. Plant clips. These 
definitely all belong with small appliances in the kitchen, right? All right, I rounded up a little unwilling help for the rest of this project, right, buddy? Yeah. You're super excited to reorganize the kitchen, aren't you? No. Mm hmm You better get excited. Here's some wipes. Clean out under the sink. Do you have sand shovels under your kitchen sink? Because apparently we do. Not one, but two. I bet if I keep looking, I'll find a third. This fire extinguisher says that it was tested in 1978. And come to think about it, I remember this exact fire extinguisher being around when I was a kid. I'm not sure but I don't think it's a great safety tool anymore should probably get a new one told you this is four four shovels under the sink so these cabinets may not seem that bad but we definitely have a wine glass and water bottle situation going on back here that I've got to fix. Oh my gosh, you guys, let me show you why it's so important to restrict yourself to one room at a time. I can't even stay on one task just in the kitchen. So I showed you these cabinets and I started reworking them. The wine glasses are way better. But in the middle of that, I had Robbie clean out the pantry and wipe down all of the shelves. So we have this. And I didn't want him to put the things back in because obviously the 10 year old cannot organize the pantry the way I would. So I had him clean out a little cabinet over here, which was literally all trash or needed to be moved to another room. An entire cabinet with nothing that belonged in the kitchen. So I made a shelf for stuff that belongs to other people, because we have some of that here. So whenever somebody's looking for something that they left here, this is where it'll be. And then I started moving teacups from another cabinet. Oh my goodness, can't stay on task. there are lids in here that we have never owned a bottle to. Goat mom problems when you've got tons of baking soda in your cabinet. This is the end of day four in the kitchen. I am almost done and I will definitely be able to finish tomorrow on day five. I love how many people have joined our Facebook group for this challenge and have shared all of their before pictures and even some of their after pictures already. I really, really love seeing what everybody else is doing and it really motivates me to keep going, especially on nights like this when I'm kind of tired and I just want to sit down. But I got through a couple more cabinets and cleaned out the pantry, which was crazy. I didn't know how much food was in there. It's kind of nuts. Anyway, if you're interested in playing along with us and getting your house decluttered, uh, check out the link on, on Facebook. It's a great group of supportive people who are trying to make their lives a little less cluttered and a little more simple. Thanks for watching. Courtney. Yes? Courtney. Yes, Kenny. Open that drawer. Do you mean this cabinet? No, I mean that drawer. Open that drawer. How about this cabinet? No, open that drawer. No? How about this, this drawer? Baby girl, open this drawer. This drawer? This one right here. This drawer. I love you. Open that drawer and show me you cleaned it. 
I knew it! I knew it! Tisk, tisk. I'll write you a check if you clean it. Mm-hmm. 